Okay, so something I wanted to do today is take a look at some of the techniques we used in this animated bottle labels template and show how you can recreate this realistic looking 3D bottle uh, from scratch. At first glance, it might look uh, quite complex, but in reality, there's only a couple of simple tricks that allow us to create this uh, optical illusion. I'm going to start with a new project and I'll attempt to recreate a shot where we have a bottle of wine that looks uh, something like this. And I'll probably replace this white background with a nice shot of a, of a vineyard or something along those lines. And uh, hopefully we can wrap this up in about um, 10 minutes, uh, give or take. So let's jump right in and I'll set up a new project. And we'll start by creating a new comp. And I'll set this to 1920 by 1080. And 10 seconds should be fine. And we call it 3D bottle animation. So to start with, I'm going to create a new solid layer. I will set it to 3000 by say 5000 pixels. So that's fairly large, but we'll be zooming in like uh, rather close into it. And, and I just want to make sure that we have enough resolution, um, especially, you know, on the label. I'm going to call it uh, bottle. And the color, yeah, that's good. Now, the big trick here is to add an effect called perspective and CC cylinder. And what this uh, cylinder effect does is it wraps whatever the graphic or image was on a cylindrical shape. So basically we can now rotate it sort of like a real 3D object. And it has all of these kind of nice shiny reflections and, and everything like that. Looks pretty cool, right? So I'm going to reset it back to zero. And then as I open up the shading tab, I'll set all of this simulated lighting off. So zero and zero. And we'll be setting that up ourselves. Uh, and then I'll set the ambience to 100%. So that way we get uh, exactly the same color as the original graphic here. And I might actually pre-comp this. And we'll set it as a bottle here. And that's my large 2D graphic placed into a comp of its own. Uh, and I can go back into it later and, and make any tweaks if I need to. Next, we're going to rotate this guy a little bit. So X axis like that. And this one to the left. And let's make sure the render setting is set to outside as we don't want to render the inner side of the bottle and that should make things work just a little bit faster. All right, so that's our bottle done. Next, I'm going to create the label. And so I'm going to duplicate this, right click and select reveal, reveal layer source in project. And I duplicate that. And I'm gonna call this one label. I'll drag and we replace it in our timeline. And that's going to be our label. Now in the label comp, I'm going to change its solid color to something I can differentiate. And then I'm going to create a rectangular mask. And shape it something like this so that it uh, looks like a label. And that's going to be our label there. Now let's create another comp preview window so I can get a, a better picture of what's of what am I doing there. And so maybe a, a little smaller. And I'll move these guys uh, higher. And so this doesn't look very fancy just yet, but, uh, but we have a label. And let's just turn it a bit uh, to make it read better. Next, uh, next, let's create a camera. Um, and I'll set its lens to 80 millimeters uh, because I wanna get a, a rather flat look without uh, too much perspective. 
You see how it flattens the shot? And perhaps let's move the camera, um, something like that. All right, so that's the label and the bottle. Next, we need to add some highlights so that this bottle starts uh, reading more like a 3D object. I'm going to place the highlights above the label. Source project. I'm going to duplicate this and we're going to call it highlights. Drag and drop and we replace that. Now I go into our highlights comp change the solid uh, color to white and first we're going to add some highlights on the edges make sure that our highlights are set to add transfer mode uh, let's soften these guys up Good. Next, let's add the two middle highlights, which are going to be our fill lights uh, reflected in front of the bottle. Duplicate it and set the second copy here to the left. They look a bit flat, but we'll fix that in a sec. And then, uh, and then we add another mask here in the middle. And this guy, I'm going to set it to subtract as I want uh, to soften the middle of those two highlights uh, so that they don't look so harsh. Um, I don't know, maybe 150. And I'm going to further drop the opacity of our two key lights to maybe 25 and 45. All right, and that's our highlights in place now. What else do we need to do here? Um, we can probably add a shadow to, to darken these edges here on the bottle as well as the label. I duplicate the highlights comp, duplicate here, and we're gonna call it uh, shadow. Now in the shadow layer, let's set the solid to black color. And then remove these three middle masks. And soften these guys to maybe 250. And then if I go back to the main comp, I actually want to drop the shadow under my highlight comp. Set it to overlay. And I might actually extend these comps a little more towards the center. And we'll drop its opacity to say 70. All right, and that's starting to read like a 3D bottle now. So next I want to add this uh, middle glow. You see here? So let's do that. I'm going to take the bottle, duplicate that, and I'm going to call it uh, middle hotspot. Swap this out. Add a mask in the middle like that. Set the layer to add. Then tweak its mask and set this to maybe 200. And maybe adjust this a little more. Next, we go back to the main comp and add an expose effect as I want to be able to make it even brighter if I need to.
So now the color of my bottle looks nothing like a wine bottle. So let's fix that. I go into my bottle, effects tab, and add an effect called uh, generate fill. And we set our fill to a dark green color. And then I'm going to copy that fill and paste it back onto my hotspot light. And uh, let's just make it a little more yellow. Something like that. All right, I like that. So we're making good progress here. And next, let's try to add a bit more realism to our shot. And uh, we'll do that by adding two things. First is our background and then the label. I'm going to import these assets into our scene. Drop the background here. Position it uh, something like that. So that we have a summary background behind our bottle. All right. So next, let's set our label. And it's not the prettiest label ever, as it's just something I quickly grabbed off the internet. But, uh, but it will do for, the, for our quick demo. So I'm going to go into my label. Shut off this uh, temp placeholder. And we can now add our actual label design. Let's uh, scale it up. Position like this. And I'll quickly add a mask to remove the background. Okay, something like this. All right, and check it out. Suddenly, a bunch of random 2D layers are starting to look like a real 3D bottle. And just to prove that it's a 3D bottle, I think we should uh, give it some life by animating the label as well as the camera. I don't need the second window here anymore, so let's get rid of it. Go to our label layer. Move to, say, a three-second mark. And set a keyframe on its Y rotation. Then go to the start. And set another keyframe like this. Next, I grab the camera, B for position, and add a keyframe at a three second mark. Let's zoom in a little more. Then go to the start and pull the camera slightly out over here. And let's just preview this. Okay, very nice. And maybe one last thing I would add here is a bit of motion to our background layer as well. Add a keyframe to position uh, as well as its scale. And then here I'll scale it up and move it uh, here. Okay, and let's just do one last preview. There you go. And I think that's really cool how quick it was to create such an awesome looking shot of a, of a wine bottle. I've done this many times in 3D, but usually that means long render times before you get to see anything moving. And if you wanted to, you could take the highlights and split them to create one set for the bottle itself and then another one for the label. And then that way you could have non-glossy highlights on your label and make it appear as if it was made of, uh, of a matte paper. Um, and you can even take it further by creating a separate highlight for labels, reflective surfaces. And I mean, you could just use this technique to, to, to make the bottle look uh, as realistic as you wanted to. So my goal with this video was simply to show the technique itself, as I, I, I think it's pretty cool what you can do with it. Um, especially considering that uh, this is an effect that's been in After Effects forever. Now we've been playing around with this effect for the past couple of weeks. So if you're under a tight deadline and you don't have the time to build this um, whole thing from scratch, um, then you can simply get a template and instead put your time into creating some stunning looking shots uh, for your client's products. And I'll make sure to include the link to the template uh, in the description. 
Um, all right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and feel free to leave us a comment below if you have any questions uh, about this process.